We started with a primary focus on the challenges within Pakistan and Pakistan's future. And during the months as we worked, uh, the crisis of U.S.-Pakistan relations became such that our emphasis on that issue grew even from when we began. Now, in the context of other recent studies, we thought there was room for another effort that had at its fo as its focus priorities. What issues we tried to assess were the most important? What policy steps would be most catalytic in bringing positive change both to the situation within Pakistan and to the U.S.-Pakistan relationship? The relationship is no longer driven by the governments alone. And there are other complications. Given the nature of cooperation, the intelligence agencies on both sides have become big players. That's the nature of the uh, current cooperation. And the intelligence agencies, as we all know, can be ruthless and self-centered. They have their own uh, 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 culture. And for the media, all that is going on in the relationship is a stuff Dreams are made of. Pakistan has become an unending breaking story. That's complicating the relationship. And we have got to recognize uh, uh, these things. The United States aid program is, is actually enormous. And therefore, if, when it's cut off, uh, if it's cut off, you know, the, 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 Pakistanis, the Pakistani economy will completely collapse. And therefore, the Pakistanis should do the right thing. Um, it's the, th the threat. Uh, of cut off of aid. The fact of the matter is aid isn't such a big deal in terms of dollars. In terms of symbolism, it's a very big deal uh, because the, the idea that if there's a cut off of aid from, uh, by the United States, uh, it'll lead to problems with other international financial institutions, which of course lend much more to Pakistan and perhaps other donors. So it's, it's, it's symbolic. I see this report as being incredibly relevant right now as we enter what I think needs to be a transitional phase and a reframing phase of our relationship with Pakistan and one that we cannot afford to have degenerate in a divorce. Um, I think the recommendations here, the measured ones, the 17 of them, anchored around premises of transparency, openness, more societal engagement, leading with things other than CT right now because we can in fact do so given some of the successes we've had. This in a nutshell is what I would uh, like to, as a panelist who uh, enjoyed participating in this process, endorse as we move this report forward and hopefully look forward to it having some impact here in policy circles.